So if you are a student, then you should definitely see this video. So this is Microsoft Student Ambassador Program, which is to empower students to take a lasting impact on their careers and personal growth. So it offers an opportunity for students to enhance their resume, personal development and online influence. The program focuses on helping students develop professional skills that align with their interest and career aspirations. The initiative is a part of Microsoft's effort to support and nurture future professionals by providing them with a valuable experience and skill development opportunities. Let us look deep into this particular program that is Student Ambassador Program, Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. So this is you can become a student ambassador by registering here. So after registering, there is a set of um, a set of levels like you are registered, you are submitted details will be evaluated by the regional leads by the experts in microsoft and based on the content you have provided and based on the information so they will be allowing you to the student ambassador program so what you will be getting so you can meet the community so that are uh, here this is the link for that okay so once if you select here you can see like you can um, uh, meet the already existing so uh, student ambassadors here so here once if you go and watch you can see that there are a lot of student ambassadors who are there if you wanted to connect with them so just click here and you can see uh, the information about that particular student okay so you can connect with them through linkedin or you can um, know about them and you can learn how to become a student ambassador okay you can see this particular student is from india and um, uh, he, uh, she has joined and she has become a student ambassador on 2023 okay so you can also do that so there are few um a few basic criteria to become a student ambassador so that is what we are going to see here so build the future so all these things okay so you will be get, getting connected with multiple people around the world on who are in microsoft and who are in your similar expertise and everything so how to get started here you can see you have a link called get started link so once if you click here get started it will take you to that particular program application so you can know about all these internship programs and ambassador programs through my channel so here you can see there is a playlist so this is my channel and this is the playlist so once if you scroll down you can see here this is skill up playlist and in this skill up playlist you can find various internship programs which are offered by google and uh, uh, everything and also you can learn about uh, you can learn about the free courses with certifications to improve you are to uh, make your resume even more rich and better so let us see how to apply for the student ambassador program just go and click here uh, get started okay so once if you click here get started it will take you to a web page where they will give you the basics of what are the eligibility criteria to become a student ambassador so you should be a student okay because this is what a student ambassador program so you should be a student and you should have a proper account that is uh, uh, you can use your outlook account it is better to create your outlook account okay um, you even you can use your um, um, organization account or a school college account okay so you should be studying in a college you should have a college account or else you can create an outlook account and you can validate here so this is the notification i'm just showing you okay so who can become a um, student ambassador so here you can see that you will be invited to join a microsoft student developer community on discard okay so once uh, after registering the student ambassador program so you have to join the community through discord so discord is a platform where you can just engage with various uh, various people who are uh, working under the technology or who are working in the same networks and everything. So Discord is a complete community activity that aligns with your interest and skill to become a student ambassador. So you have to register. Registered members who meet activity requirements will be invited to join the student ambassador program. So here once if you click the privacy and terms you can see you can find more about the student ambassador program. So um so please fill, you have to fill out this form okay so what is the students students must must be at least 16 years old at the time of the registration so even if you are um 
so you should be at least 16 years old at the time of the registration so you have to be a 16 years old student and be enrolled full time in an accredited academic institution so it should be a college or university okay so you should be uh, uh, you should be learning in a college okay studying in a college not be a microsoft employee or a current contractor so you should not related to a microsoft employee or the current contract that is you should not be a microsoft employee or a current contractor so your information is subjected to do this microsoft privacy statement okay so when you submit this registration your information will be started with us uh, shared with the microsoft program lead who manages student learn ambassador selection in your region so which is like regional read lead will be knowing about you so he will be learning all these things he will review your complete application form so they may ask you for additional information to evaluate your suitability for the program so if your registration is not completed all the information you provided will be removed from our servers within 12 months of the registration created date so you should first understand what all these data okay so these are all the criteria and if you want to know more about it okay so you can just send a mail to them so this is a student support uh, global access so this is the mail okay once if you uh, copy email address okay so just copy this email address and if you paste it here you can see that sa underscore help uh sorry sa hyphen help so this is the mail id so this is the mail id okay so you can request so by completing the registration form uh, you are just compiling uh, you are just uh, accepting these privacy terms so if you are under any of these criteria so please click i agree and wish to continue and click the next page i'm not going to submit it i'm just going to show you the information okay like what you will be doing doing so this is your uh, first name last name and um, your contact details your date of birth your gender your pronoun select your country preferred language online influence work if you have any social media profiles you can add it so you can add see he, these are all the social media profiles they are just looking for you can click here you can see they uh, they are expecting linkedin so twitter personal website youtube stack overflow instagram plural site github so whatever you are there tiktok facebook meetup twitch other so you can just add it what i can personally recommend you is what if you are a student and you don't have a linkedin account please go and first create the, your linkedin account and start making the networks okay and then you can build a personal website it is very easy uh, you have uh, various easy built in like uh, easily you can create a website with a simple clicks you can create a personal website to showcase your profile and it's not mandatory that you should have all these things but it will be great if you have at least 3 to 5 so that they will get to know and this is a github page where you can if you want to know more about any of these social networks please leave a comment so i can help you so you can see here once if you click all these inf information you know like they'll be asking you the information about the academic institution where you are working registration questions they'll be asking you the questions like why should you want to become a student ambassador so there will be few questions which you wanted to answer and you can give additional informations as well so here when you are trying to enter your details so here you can see you, you they are asking you for the preferred language okay you should know any of these language c sharp c++ plus plus, c sharp java python so most probably nowadays many people are learning python okay so even if you know python it's not a big deal to learn python okay just go here in the skill up page you can see the free um, python course with a certification so you can learn that which will be it will take on hardly 5 hours to understand and learn python okay so here you can see the python certification course by cisco okay it's a valid certification you can find it here so this is the python free certification course so you can just if you know what you know you have to give it properly okay so you can just select here uh, what you know if you know python you can just simply select here python if you know multiple languages you can even select that like if you know c sharp if you know c++ java javascript and r okay visual basics everything 
so once if you click here you can just go to the next page social network they request okay so and then you have to give the academic institution details okay so here this is very important you have to give the country region state and province academic institution name degree degree level and what is the expected graduation date and once if you give here they will ask you few registration questions so you have to answer those registration question as well and you can review it and submit it so once you submit that will be sent to the regional manager okay so you can see like what the regional manager will evaluate the regional manager will evaluate your application and he will be sending you via email so whenever you give while giving your email address be very clear um like what email address you are giving and you have to uh, keep an eye on the email address you can check the spam you can check the junk mail and um, um, you should give a proper email id so keep that in mind okay so you can submit here and then the further follow ups will be there for you by the microsoft itself so these are the privacy policies so you you have to just um, check all these details before you submit and if you are into any college you are you are learning in a college please go ahead and attend here submit this application this is very important so if you have any other further questions on this student ambassador program please leave your message i'll be there to help you out thank you take care bye bye